Hi, it's the uh, 22nd of April and I'm on my last away day trip of the season. I'm off to Bradford via Doncaster, Leeds and Shipley and I might throw in something extra in because I've got a bit of spare time. But disaster has struck and I've left my breakfast behind. Uh, my wife goes through all the trouble making me lovely bacon, salad, egg, mayonnaise, sandwich rolls and I've left them behind and I've, what I've bought with me are two, two plain rolls. So I've just raided Waitrose for some chorizo I think and uh, cheese to make up for it. My train is departing from Platform Zero today from here at King's Cross. King's Cross which I've never caught a train from Platform Zero before and of course as I'm going to Doncaster I can check out their signage for Platform Zero if you've, if you've seen my video about the signage at Doncaster Station so I won't do anything else now until I get to Doncaster uh, so I'll see you later, I'm going to have my breakfast It's ten past nine and I've arrived at my first stop which is Doncaster I now catch the um, 9.26 from Doncaster to Leeds and this will be my train and I was due to arrive at Leeds at 10.15 Now I'm going to have a look at the platform zero signage Right, so the sign still says platforms, plural, zero, bar stone this is part of all the, all the stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. And there's the train to Leeds. There's a cross country train going to Newcastle. Saw plenty of these the other day at uh, Durham. So whilst we watch this disappear into the uh, far off yonder, um, I'll just give you some statistics on Doncaster Railway Station. It's the 137th busiest station on the network. It's the 2415th least busiest. However, it's not as busy as Hackney Central on the London Overground Railway in London. But as I said before, major commuter um, stopped that one. It, it averages just over 10,000 uh, passengers per day. In fact, it's 10,278. And it's served by trains of, of the following railway services, Caledonian Sleeper, Cross Country, um, Northern, East Midlands trains, um, First Hull trains, Grand Central, Trans Pennine Express, and Virgin Trains East Coast. It has a total of nine platforms, which includes my friend Platform Zero. It was originally built in 1849 and was rebuilt in 1938. Arrived at um, point two in the journey, it's Leeds, and it's uh, 13 minutes past 10, which is two minutes early. And I've now got to find Platform 8B for my train to Shipley. Right. Leeds has the most platform faces of any station outside of London, totaling 17. But because a lot of these platforms are divided into A or B or C, etc., it in fact has 47 separate stations. Platforms even. This is the train departures board, which I must admit is pretty impressive. Platform 17, which is subdivided into 17A and 17B. It's on platform 15B. It says York. I don't know if it's going to York or coming to York, and that one's Manchester Airport. Platform 
one to six. It's a huge station. Try to get over it. Mega big. So it's the train I'll be catching, which is the um, 1026 to skip to. Going off the to Shipley. Let's have a look down the platform. So the train, which is on platform 8B, is actually overlapping into 8A. And uh, whilst I walk up the side of the platform, um, Leeds is the 12th busiest station in the network. And it is, apart from Glasgow Central and Birmingham New Street, it's the busiest station outside London. Um, its service is just over 81,000 passengers a year and has services operated by Cross Country, Virgin Trains East Coast, East Midlands Train, Trans Pennine, Northern. The station was rebuilt in 1938. So here's a view from Platform 8A. So once again, that platform there is 17, subdivided up into 17B. And then over here are platforms 1 and 2, through to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. There's a very useful map here which shows um, the route I'm going to take. So I'm going to start here at Leeds and I'm going to get a train all the way to Shipley. I'm going to change at Shipley and then get the train to Ilkley and then there's a four minute turnaround at Ilkley, Ilkley and then we come back and get off at Bailden then there's a half an hour wait until I catch the next train back which will then take me into Bradford, Forster Square. Right, I arrived at uh, Shipley on time at 10.38 my next train is at 10.53 and as I indicated I'm off to Ilkley. Right, Shipley is one of two stations that is triangular shape. This is, these are platforms one and two, the ones I've arrived on. Uh, the other station which has, which is triangular, is Earlstown on Merseyside. So I'm now going to move over to the main station building, which is over here, because I need to get a ticket to Ilkley, and hopefully I can fit in the other two, two uh, platform faces. Shipley was originally opened in 1846, and the present buildings were built between 1883 and 1892. So this uh, platform is three and four, platform four is Platform I need to go to. Um, no, platform three is a platform I need to go to Ilkley. If I was going directly to Bradford, I'd go on platform four. And then over here is uh, platform five. Which goes to um, Skipton as well. Um, you have a platform face over there not used. So that's the um, Bradford service departing from platform 4, I think. So this is the uh, Skipton service, which is going to go into platform 5. Right, so this correction is the 10.49 to skip to which is running slightly late and whilst I wait for it to depart I'll give you the statistics. Uh, Shipley is the 338th most used station on the network and the 2215th least used and that's my train coming behind me so I'm going to have to rush and um, oh no it's not <laughs> forget that and um, it has passenger totals of 4,765 per day and it's served by these um, metro trains Virgin 
trains east coast, there's apparently one a day each way to Forster Square and Northern so Trains, the arrival of my train, sneaked up on me slightly. So I'm going to take this all the way to Ilkley and then as I said there's a four minute turn around at Ilkley and I'm going to come back and get off at Bailden. So the train arrived a couple of minutes late, but it's just leaving one minute late. I've decided to stay in Ilkley for the next half hour as opposed to Bailden. I think there's more to do. So I just see the train depart. So next one is at 11.51, should get me into the pub by half past 12. Uh, it includes not an attractive railway uh, station building, um, but it's all been put over to the cafe, Marks and Spencer's. Laura Ashley, Pizza Express. Oh, there's a local bus. So the way is actually just over there. Anyway, go closer look when I get back to the station. Meanwhile, I've got to find a bakery. Ilkley strikes me as being a very attractive um, town in Wolfdale, with um, the Dale on either side. It looks like the main shopping area. Got some nice flower beds. Very attractive. So here comes the um, 11.40, what does it be, the 11.45 arrival, something like that, to form the Before I get on the train, I'll just do the Ilkley statistics. Um, it's the 437th most used station on the network. It's the 2115th least used station on the network. It has average patronage per day of 3,702. And it's served by Northern and um, Metro services. And it was opened in 1865, as evidenced by that blue pack I filmed earlier on. Um, the line here used to continue onto Skipton via Addingham, Bolton Abbey and Embassy, where that was subject to a beaching cut in 1966. And I've actually been to the Embassy in Bolton Railway and I've got a video um, that shows it. Well, I've arrived at my destination, Bradford Forster Square. It's uh, 22 minutes past 12 and everything's on time. Right, I don't intend to do any video when I get back to the station because I'm catching a train at 5.13 and I will only just make it. So I'm going to do all my videoing here. So I'm afraid it's all going to be a bit boring. Um, so this is the 286th most busiest station on the network. The 2267th least used station. Um, average usage per day is 5,659. Um, interestingly enough, this station is not as busy as Ely in Cambridgeshire. It was opened in 1846 and rebuilt in 1890. The original station had uh, six platforms with an uh, overall glazed roof. 
It was uh, rebuilt in 1990 um, on the western side of the former station and it's served by these um, Metro Northern and um, Virgin Trains East Coast. Now if I look back down the platform, of which there are three, you can just see Bradford City's football ground. There. And over here, it looks like um, that used to be part of it, most probably. So there's another view of Bradford City football ground. It certainly dominates the uh, landscape. And just around this corner is the Corn Dolly Pub. It says Pub of the Year 2014.